Have you ever been to Goodwill where it seems like everybody has carts full of Gucci and you're like, what the heck? Where is that stuff? Why am I not seeing it? How do I get some? Well, I'm here to help you today. Hey thrifters, this is Stephanie, and today I'm here to talk about five tips for sourcing at Goodwill. I probably don't have to tell you that there are many, many options into where you could source your items and get great deals, but my favorite is the Goodwill outlet in South Denver. If you've never sourced from a Goodwill outlet, then you need to prepare yourself because it's kind of like Black Friday every single day and people are definitely ready to throw some elbows. And the reason I love Goodwill outlet is because that's where my thrifting began. I started going to Goodwill Outlet when I was in grad school and I found a thrifting community of people who were able to help me learn how to grow my business and I am so grateful for what I have learned. And maybe your local thrifting community isn't as cool as mine, but I'm going to tell you all the tips and tricks I learned along my journey. Alright, advice number one. You gotta get there right when it opens. Some open at 7, some open at 8, mine used to open at 9, but now it opens at 8 and I live about an hour with traffic away so I am there right at the door at 7 50 a.m. because sometimes they see you and they see that you're cold and they let you in early and I mean get there early because there are no excuses I used to do this in grad school when I had three jobs and a full-time class load and I would go there one day a week Friday from 9 to 10 before my class for one hour and that's all I would do and I was still able to pay for a shit ton of things for my wedding then after you stood out there in either the freezing or the heat, you get in and you're gonna grab a cart and you're gonna not run, you're gonna walk because they don't like running. And you're gonna go over to the bin and usually for my store, the newest bin that has been put out is the one closest to the wall. And I don't know what your store does, but you could ask those other thrifters about which bin is typically the new one at open. And so the best stuff is usually there and there's less competition and you're not gonna get shoved around as much. The second tip I'm gonna tell you is to research your brands before you go. Know what you're looking for, know what this store generally produces, and know what type of retail is around that area and the wealth around that area of the Goodwill LA that you're going to because if you're going to one that's not in a great place of town, then they might not be getting um, their things from a great place of town either. Goodwill outlets typically have um, stuff from other Goodwills that didn't sell or they're getting things directly from the donator because other Goodwills are overflowing with things. Tip number three is look with your hands and not your eyes because sometimes you see something and you have no idea what it is. So many times I'm pulling Patagonia things and I don't even know because there's no brand that really show what it is. So if you're just feeling based for, on quality and you know what quality feels like, then you're going to put a bunch of stuff in your cart and at the end of the day you're going to go through. And tip number four, you're going to go through your things that are in that cart and you're going to check for holes, stains, anything that might make your item less valuable. Um, generally it's okay if you buy things by mistake because it's typically only 20 to 30 cents per item based on its weight, but you want to minimize what type of things you're buying wrong. And tip number five is not for everybody, but if you're able to try and go on weekdays because I find that weekends are much more competitive with the weekend warriors and it's just too crowded even if you do get there right in the morning. I also think that by the end of the week, sometimes there's just not as good of things out there, but that's just my store and maybe your store is just constantly pushing in awesome products. And here's a bonus tip for you. If you find out what your local consignment stores are looking for, you could then go to the Goodwill bins and buy the stuff at like 10, 20 cents and then sell it to the consignment stores for cash and then you'll just not have piles in your basement like me. So if you like this video, please give it a subscribe and comment below on other tips and tricks that you're looking for as a reseller.